Hello, today we are unboxing, assembling, and configuring the Bamboo Labs P1 Series Combo. This is my third ever 3D printer and I'm excited about this one because of how well the results have looked online and also how easy it looks to set up. This is a combo kit, meaning it comes with the printer, but it also comes with the automatic materials system. This will hold four different types of filaments and the printer will automatically swap between the materials during the print if I'm doing a multicolored print. They're also stackable, I'm pretty sure, so you can have up to 16 different colors. I think that's the feature of the printer that I'm most interested in, is the fact that I'll be able to seamlessly switch between colors. The other part that I'm really excited about is there's a built-in camera inside the printer, so it will be able to take time lapses during prints and it connects to Wi-Fi so you'll be able to monitor your prints remotely. So this is the unboxing part. I'm taking off all the plastic. For the most part, it's very simple. Just look around for the tape and rip it off. But as you need to start unscrewing things, I'll show exactly where those will be. Even though it's super simple, just follow along with the handbook in case I missed something. So inside the printer, you'll see the AMS system. We need to remove a few screws and then we'll remove it from the top of the printer. What I'm pulling out right there will be the tools that we'll need and the screws and the power cords and everything that the assembly will be requiring. So the screws you'll need to unscrew are denoted by that orange arrow. There's going to be about seven or eight screws throughout the entire process, but those two screws right there will remove the AMS unit from the top and we'll put that aside until we set it up here in a second. Now there will be four screws that will help you take off the plate that was holding the AMS above the bed inside the printer. Take that out and this is what we're left with. Now we're going to remove the cardboard from around the extruder and take off the plastic sleeve from the front window. Now we'll hook up the AMS system. Put the AMS system on top and configure the wires based on the handbook. There are three screws holding down the build plate. Those are two of them, and the third one will be near the back. Just unscrew them and take them out. And now we're gonna attach the screen to the top of the printer. The cable clips into the back of the screen, and then you'll just push in and to the left to secure it to the printer. Get the power cord, plug it into the printer, and plug it into the wall. And now all that's left to do is turn it on. That was way too easy. I remember I spent this amount of money on my Prusa MK3S and it took me over 14 hours to build over a weekend. And don't get me wrong, that taught me a lot about 3D printing and I would probably recommend a 3D printer to at some point in their life build theirs from a full kit just to understand the intricacies that go into it. But this, this could be done by anybody. And they said online as easy as 15 minute setup in I don't think they were joking. I think anybody could do this in about 15 minutes. Even the app is easy to use, even though it's at three and a half stars on the app store. We'll see what that's all about. But I had an easy time unboxing, assembling, and configuring the new Bamboo Lab P1S. So thank you guys so much for watching and please check out my other 3D printing videos. We're gonna be printing so many more things, multicolor prints. We're gonna be able to print with bamboo and metals. Got carbon fiber right here and we are ready to go.